you should give up on your old ideas. And I mean this kind of sincerely. On many occasions, I had this great fear of putting something else out there. I did not think would fit my vision entirely. And this kind of like ultimatum went to me with like even negotiating with myself or even thinking about the potential compromises or adapting or being flexible with my vision that I... I was just stuck. Which brings me to one of my greatest fears and the fears that I had to learn about the hard way. So <laughs> I recently turned 20 a couple of months ago and there has been a lot of thinking that I had to do. I only put out a couple of songs, but it felt like I did not necessarily like what I was listening to. Especially there was one song that I think I liked a lot and I really liked the concept behind it. But I just could not listen to it. It was really unlistenable to me. This song is Riverside. I think at the time I wanted to be like very minimalist and very like abstract with like a lot of interesting imagery. I was like 16, 17 when I made that song and looking back and listening to it, not only there is only one chord playing throughout the entire song, it's just literally one chord. I don't know, it's like G chord or something. Although some of the lyrics were interesting. A lot of them did not tie together into anything. <laughs> so at a certain moment, I was just like, okay, okay. I do like some aspects of this old song, especially a few lyrics that I like within that song. But I just need to tarnish the entire thing and completely rewrite it because it feels like there is so much potential. There is so much growth to be done. And the foundation was there. It's just needs something new. This idea occurred to me a couple of months ago during the summer where I was just like, okay, I wanna re-record this song. And first thing that I went to was, well, lyrics. And besides the mess of the previous lyrics, there are a few things sticked out to me, such as this line. And I was like, this could be the beginning of something beautiful. So I erased the entire thing. I started with a clean slate, but I did have this initial seed of like, okay, let's think where we can take this and turn this old idea, delete like 99% of everything, have this little 1% and make it something new. So my approach was to find an overarching idea. Like if somebody were to come up to me and ask me, hey Bryce, what is this song about? I would go immediately, this is the song about blank. I did not have that with the old version. I don't know, I, I'm not even quite sure what that even song was. It's still on my SoundCloud, it's still on my YouTube. You just, you can go check it out, I just, I'll prefer you don't. <laughs> so my overall thinking was, okay, I am taking this old song that I wrote in my teenage years and I'm repackaging this in a view of a retrospect, how I felt when I was writing this song initially and in the state in which I am right now, mainly emotional and psychological and putting those things next to each other in juxtaposition and being like, okay, what are some of the elements that are similar? What are some of the elements that I wanted to highlight? And what are the some ideas that I want to bring to the light in this song? And the main idea was this sense of journey that I was going from when I originally wrote this song to the new song. Not the most grandiose idea, but it did work in my mind. <laughs> the next step in figuring this out was how am I gonna actually turned this into a song, right? I wanted to be like a singer songwriter kind of piece, but I didn't want it to come around like, I am a singer songwriter because I'm mostly write like what, pop alternative music. I am not that great of a guitar player, if I'm being honest, like, don't judge me on my guitar skills. Like they're not greatest. <laughs> so I just picked up an acoustic guitar and I started strumming this sequence of chords. Some of them did work, some of them did not work, and I scratched them and I've rewritten them in, in the key that works. But I was mainly glad that I departed from the song being just in one chord. But then also I was like, something is missing here. Something like a exclamation mark is missing in this piece. And which came to be the bridge of the song, where it's just like, it's a big mishmash of like 
multiple takes on the guitar, put together into this big chaotic storm. I'm running in a field, sunset, wind is blowing in all directions simultaneously. My hair is blowing like this. I wanted to have this big feeling of like, Catharsis, which I think I did quite a good job on this. I don't know, I'm, I don't wanna be the judge of that. Started with like a very calm start and then it peaked on this like very big emotional state, but then it went down going back to the first kind of chorus and leaving us into the distance. I had those big moments, maybe it was emotional breakdowns, maybe it wasn't emotional breakdowns, I'm not gonna tell you, but mainly it's, the days that you forget about, it's mainly the days where you just like, you sit there and you're like, okay, I did some things, I did not do some things, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And a lot of these days are like, kind of what life is about. Like not every day is gonna be your main character moment. Maybe you just wanna go to work in pajamas and sit there in front of the computer being like, okay, I'm just gonna do the thing and then I wanna go home and eat some ice cream. And I'm guilty of that too. And it's okay to have these days too. These are gonna be like majority of those days, but some of the days they have to be big and they have to be memorable and they have to be grandiose. And I feel like this song is a good reflection of that. For the five years in which I was writing music from like teenage years, I've put out what, two EPs, but I did not like them personally. That's why I deleted them from like streaming services. But just looking at that and realizing that despite all of this emotional turmoil creatively and life-wise that I'm going through, it's nice to look back and just realize that, hey, at some point I was this and now I can do this and I know all of that. And it's okay to focus on your personal journey and not compare yourself to others every time in every aspect of your life and just enjoy yourself until this big emotional moment comes around again. <laughs> Ugh, I'm guilty of that. I overthink everything. I daydream a lot. I spend a lot of time daydreaming. Being in daydreaming state is nice. That's where a lot of ideas and a lot of like very blurry visions uh, of the songs, especially also this one comes in, but sometimes being stuck in a daydreaming state and an overthinking state is not great because then you just like stuck on one project for so much time. And I did not want this one. Somebody's listening to my mixtape. I did not want to overthink a lot on this song. So it was just very much in my production style bare bones. Lyrically, it was just like putting everything that I believed worked immediately. And I'm not saying you shouldn't like reflect on your own art and the creative process because everybody creates differently. Come back to your work at a certain time, reevaluate your choices. I'm a person who overthinks a lot and struggles with overanalyzing everything that is happening in life, even choosing which meal to have tonight or how I wanna go about producing this song from like very non-important to like life-changing decisions. I just wanted to capture the moment and just share my perspective because at the end of the day, it kind of doesn't really matter, but like in a good way, you're still just a small particle in the universe who thinks is the shit and is the most important thing in the world, but you're just a small, very little pebble in the universe. For me, it's personally a very comforting thought, which kind of gives me this motivation to create and be freed of my own limitations and overthinking and overanalyzing and putting everything in context and having this like very overarching kind of thing, aesthetic era, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just putting anything on the paper, putting anything on your DAW and just like starting whether it's not gonna fit and whether it's not gonna matter fully. Okay, I've done this thing and I'm very proud of it and I'm gonna move on to the next thing because I feel like I need to leave this old idea behind. I've done this and now I need to make a new step and create something new. I wasn't sure if I wanna put out a video like this, but as I'm recording this, I'm kind of happy that I'm doing it because I'm a narcissist and I love your attention but also just sharing the perspective on the art overall and it's kind of nice. I may be gonna be doing more of these in the future. Things that are either loosely related to music or directly related to music. Whether I'm just screaming into the void or talking to you personally, I'm glad. Thank you for sticking around and I'll see you later.